It's the 27th of November 2018. I'm here at the Harbour Inn. I'm David Griffin. I'm talking to Bob Davis and Phil Matthews. Both uh, esteemed and venerable members of Blackpool Gallery Cricket We've gradually gone up. Yeah, and, and we've got the uh, viewers may see just sitting in the middle of the table there um, a, a book that was. Um, well written basically about the first 50 years, 1892 to 1941, and I think we're going to get a little story about that, but we before are. we do, we'll just apologise for the festive music that we can't control, that <laughs> is, uh, I think we've got Paul oh, McCartney. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, go and so. Anyway, over yes. to... Yeah, you. I'll, I'll take the story on. So, yeah, basically, Dave Slatcher uh, was... Uh, He's the author of the book. So basically, Dave has collated a lot of history. Uh, from the very early days yeah. um, and has created the book. Unfortunately died a few years ago. Um, but he and Bill Berkenshaw were like two of the main guys who you know, helped us uh, get this information together. Um, and Dave unfortunately had cancer um, and died before he managed to complete the rest of the history of the cricket club. Um, and basically Dave was uh, a real stalwart of the club and wanted to be um, have his ashes uh, scattered at the club and so we had to go through all the usual rigmarole now these days of getting approval from the relevant parties for doing that which we did and so his wife um, Sue went up one day uh, with his ashes just herself uh, to spread the, at the club um, we knew she was going up but we didn't know when and we didn't know where she was going to put the ashes um, so it basically happened, uh, as I say, we didn't know when, but I'll pass over to our groundsman who uh, then take the story on. Yeah, she, she went up on one Friday, I can't remember the date, and um, she spread the ashes along the wicket that we were going to be playing on on the Saturday afternoon. Prior to that, I'd been doing some repair work on the rest of the ground and I'd left half a bag of fertiliser. Inadvertently, I'd left it out. And I gets up to the ground and I've, there's all this white, powdery, bony, gritty stuff all over my, my wicket. And... Uh, I immediately blamed the local kids for finding this uh, fertiliser and spreading it all over the place, as is their want. Amongst a lot of Anglo-Saxon, <laughs> and uh, I proceeded to sweep him up into a bucket, walk over to the <laughs> garage where we keep all the equipment, and chuck him in the edge bottom. <laughs> And then we tried to keep it quiet, yeah. so Sue didn't find out. We didn't know until a few weeks after that, until uh, Sue actually announced that she'd been up and done this, that we realised what had actually yeah, happened. Yeah, it, it went on a bit, you know, little, yeah. little bastards that spread <laughs> fertiliser all over. <laughs> But I suppose if he's in, if he's in the edge bottom, he's, he's, he's still he's up there. there. He's yeah, keep, yeah, keeping yeah. an eye on things yeah. from a distance. I keep away from so. that part of the ground, actually, because <laughs> I know he's going to bollock me. <laughs> and there you go. That's well, thanks for that, guys. I've already said thank you on a previous no recording, but once more, it's been fascinating. We've had a social and cricketing <laughs> history of Blackwell Cove. Absolutely. Cricket. We also but celebrated we also had <laughs> serenaded by Christmas, Christmas well. 2018. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.